morning everyone it's Yvonne here to do your what's cracking rooting rooting I'm um, straight from Pilates so I'm probably a little bit knocked around um thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for supporting me um I do apologize for yesterday I'm really don't like apologizing for things I can't help but um at the end of the day I did feel a little responsible apparently um, the what's cracking reading was the Leo reading a second time around and when I went looking for the what's cracking reading it had completely disappeared that was a really good one too so <laughs> I don't know what happened there I went back into my files it completely gone so I have no idea what the computer did what YouTube did what I did no idea um, Okay, if you would like a reading for me, my we're, we're reading. Oh my goodness, I need to get myself into gear. If you would like a reading with me, my you, my channel is. I should start again, shouldn't I? My channel is up and running. No, my website's up and running. I need to ground myself a little bit before I do the reading. Um, my website is up and running. www.theaussiegoddess.com. Victory card flipped back, flipped round there. Um, and you can have a look at what, what um, readings I do provide. But interesting enough, I've had a lot of bookings over the last couple of days. So it's been really good because I can sort of check out what's working and what's not on my website, which is awesome. Um, all right. Anything else I want to talk about? I don't think so. I think I'll get straight into it. I do have the Arcanum Tarot to do your reading and a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. So I think we'll just get into it. Um very busy at the moment like uni pilates readings it's been fabulous but you know i get like the day before yesterday i slept for 10 hours which is the first time it was 9 38 but the first time in my life i've ever slept that long and i barely woke up i did have a couple of sort of rousy moments but it was crazy i've never done that before all right so we're starting the reading off with the three of cups now the three of cups as a card generally sort of talks about having a good time with family and friends um i always say if it comes up in a reading though it makes me always think there's somebody else involved in a relationship and you know it never fails me in that sense but when it comes up in a reading like this i'll always take the um, traditional meaning first before i start to think about anything else but that can mean that there's a third person there and it's really funny how we adapt to cards a little differently so if you watch different readers they may have slightly different um, ideas of what the cards are meant but it's like you say to the to the cards to spirit to the universe you know, if this particular card appears then it means this and once you've sort of placed that it just sort of always comes out when you need it or you need to know something there is an ending here with the ten of wands i do have the king of wands here i love him in this deck look how handsome he looks um leo sag aries energy coming through there and we have an ace of pentacles coming through there's a new beginning here for you and i feel like somehow or another there may have been we've got the ace of swords behind that so there definitely seems to be a new beginning for you but it's i feel like here either you're going to meet somebody through family and friends or you have got somebody coming in that may have not committed to a relationship with you before because they had somebody else in the background so i'm going to get into that a little bit more um but if this is a new relationship for you, I sort of really like the energy. Um, and it certainly makes me feel like you. there's some sort of surprise here when you're meeting. You may be going out to a wedding or, or invited to something and somebody sort of piques your interest. So let's have a look. All right, I have the magician coming through with the four of pentacles, the judgment. Mm, some people, this definitely looks like a return. A return, a revisit, um, an opportunity again. Okay, if this reading is yours, it may be somebody that you're keeping an eye on here that you never let go of, let's face it. So you've been doing a little bit of, um, I don't know, people call it st it's stalking. I don't think it really is stalking. I think stalking is quite a negative word. Um, but I have heard it called creeping. So, you know, checking out Facebook, trying to manifest something here. 
um, something that was really difficult to let go of with that Four of Pentacles. But there's definitely a, an opportunity coming around again with somebody that you have been checking out or keeping an eye on. So let's say whether it's somebody coming back around again. Sometimes it isn't somebody that you've had a relationship with, but it's somebody that falls into your lap a second time around. You know, um, somebody said to me not long ago that they'd had a relationship. No, they'd had a, a guy at school who always had a crush on them and they were already in another relationship. And they haven't seen each other for like 30 years and he got in touch with her. And I remember thinking there's so many variables when we're talking about this. And I think people get really limited. It could be that you haven't had a relationship, but it can still be somebody coming back that you've crossed paths with somewhere along the way. And I say to people, be fluid be flexible, open-minded with your readings. If it doesn't feel like it's your reading, don't own it. Don't own it. Um, because sometimes people will say things and I think, you know, it just sort of, it sets you up. If you try to own every reading you listen to, even when it doesn't feel like yours, it sets you up for failure. So if the reading isn't resonating, that means it doesn't feel right in your gut, then just move on from it. Sometimes people say they watch my readings because they get little snippets and things like that. But if you're that, if you're doing that and you're being really selective about what you take with you, I think that's fantastic because that says to me you are using your intuition. Um, and obviously people learn from me too, so that's great too. But I know that we have some people who constantly, you know, leave negative comments on the post and I'm like why are you being negative learn if the reading doesn't belong to you and just leave it alone and walk away from it um, because sometimes when you talk about people coming back from the past people look at the negative relationship they've had and they apply it and it isn't always that way so be open-minded be flexible um, like I said be fluid sometimes this may be somebody that you worked with in the past or went to school with it can even be somebody crossing your path that has a past life connection with you when that reading, when that comes around so you may not even know this person but you will feel the connection to them so flow through it all right so we have the ten of pentacles lovely with the chariot cancer energy coming through we've got cancer and Pisces energy on the table um, I feel like here with the chariot that somebody wants to move forward with you. I feel like here it could be somebody that you have worked with, but there seems to be some sort of money connection to this person. And again, I've seen this happen before where somebody's met someone because they've been selling their home or, um, you know, had someone come in and fix their fix something in their home and they've ended up dating. So again, it's really important to be flexible because I don't, I can't name all the different scenarios. So there's somebody coming towards you, absolutely. And it is possibly a cancer. You do have Pisces in this reading as well. There does seem to be, look, there you go, King of Cups. So Cancer, Pisces energy with the King of Cups anyway. I think it's more of a Pisces card. And then you have the Strength card. Your person could sit, could sit on the um, cusp of Cancer Pisces, uh, Cancer um, Leo. Your person could have Cancer in their sun sign, Leo in their moon or vice versa. But this person's very, very strong. We also have, of course, Leo energy here. This is a very strong person. And look what you've got at the front of the reading. We have the lovers coming through, which too is a very beautiful card. There it is. Looks a bit Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, they all look like somebody to me. My imagination goes crazy when I look at cards. Um, okay, so you've got somebody coming into your life. I feel like this person, if you don't have a connection, you definitely have some sort of past life connection. You will feel this. I feel like somehow or another, though, this may sort of... Um, Maybe there's some sort of, it feels like there may be some sort of connection to friends or family. Um, it's possible you could meet this person through some sort of get together. You could be having a girl's night out or something as well with this card here. 
If this is a return of a third party person, then I can see a decision being made here. There's somebody's coming in with a love offer, but there's a choice. With the Lover's Card and the Two of Swords, there's a choice as to whether you move forward with the person or not. Somebody said to me the other day, because I always, you know, I'm a great advocate when you've broken up with someone to really invest in yourself, you know, um, not to sit around and think that your world has ended and be focused completely on all the sadness of it. Really push yourself to get out, have fun, do all the things you need to. I mean, I, I guess we all have that little bit of a grieving period to start off with. And this person, I'd been working with them for a little while, they'd had a relationship. And um, a couple of times they'd said to me, you know, when they were having difficulties, that they were ready to walk away from it. It was just too much. And of course he came back in. And she said, I realised I'm really over him. And that was really, like, really, after all the time this poor person had gone backwards and forwards trying, it was really satisfying to hear somebody say, you know, I realise now I'm way too good for this person and that they're just going to never change. And, and I thought, how many times do we keep repeating that cycle in hope that something gets better or something changes? Um... And if you're dealing with someone who's a little bit narcissistic, you'd be constantly seeking that person you met. Then it wasn't real. So we have some sort of situation here. I feel like somehow or another, especially with that Ten of Wands here, you may not be quite ready for this person, but there is definitely a brand new beginning. I feel like you are ready. But this sort of Nine, nine of Wands energy makes me feel like somehow or another, perhaps you have worked on yourself. Um, I know we get a to a point too where we sort of think the single thing is really good and do we want to get back into something where we have to make room for somebody in our lives again and that takes a special person to break that spell absolutely but anyway let's have a look at the wisdom of the oracle cards i also have this card jumping out so victory card two of wands i feel like for some of you you may be seeing somebody come around again but I do think, like I just said, maybe you've done a lot of work. Maybe you're not really sure that they've changed. Um, we've all accepted that one too when somebody says, oh, I've changed and blah, blah, blah. And you think, oh, well, I'll give them another go and they last a week. <laughs> so I don't trust that one either. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay. I have two cards that have come out. We have Loyal Heart here and we have Exchanging Gifts here. Um, three and five is eight, seven and two is nine. So let's have a look. At... So Loyal Heart, I'm going to use the relationship message. It says your partnerships, friendships and romantic relationships have all met many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. So make sure that your person is really 100% sure this time before you take them back. Um, 27. I feel like this is the card that really needs to be talked about. This is the law of giving and receiving. Currency trade-offs, weighing cost and determining value. So maybe this is why you're on the fence a little bit and why I've got two cards coming out. It is very possible here that you will give this person, if they are returning for you, that you will give them enough time to have a look and see if what, what broke you up before has changed this time around. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gift in return. So maybe you have been in a situation with somebody where you were investing a lot of time and energy and it's possible that they were not doing the same. So if that is the case, I feel like you might sort of, that might be why you're on the on the fence with this one. Maybe you're thinking about how can you move it forward. Um you go back to dating go back to the beginning if they're not prepared to do that boot them in the farm and send them on their way um go back to the dating so you want to start from the beginning don't go back to where you were at the end of the time that you were with them because that that's 
disastrous. So start at the beginning, make them, make them wine and dine you, make them, you know, do what they need to do to prove themselves to you before you say yes. I'll leave you with that. I'm going to do a Libra reading and I'm also going to try and catch up on a Gemini reading this morning as well. So be watching for them. Thank you.